and welcome back to vlogmas day 11. I'm so happy to see you here. I hope you have been enjoying my vlogs so far. But today I wanted to do a more sit down, a more calm video for you. You know, not every day is kind of full of action and today is one of those days where I just want to sit down quickly with you and have a conversation. I asked you on Instagram to ask me a few questions that interested you. If you want to participate in something like that in the future, of course, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Let's see what you guys asked. I haven't really had a big look. So there are a few questions that uh, I collected, which is very nice. And this is not in any particular order. I'm just gonna go with the first one. What is the thing you are the most proud of yourself? There are many things that I'm proud of in general, but if I had to say one thing, I would say that I'm proud that I go after the opportunities. I've always had the mindset of that I'd rather try it out and see for myself if I like it, if I don't like it, and I can always go back rather than look back at the times and have some regrets. I've done this with literally so many things since I've been a teenager. It started with my tennis career. After graduating, most people went to universities and I wanted to go pro. And I just said, okay, let me try. Worst thing is that I'm not gonna make it, but at least I will never have any regrets. The same thing with moving to Germany, although nothing was so sure. We were together with Xava for only six months. The worst thing that would have happened is that we would have broken up and I could have moved back uh, to where my parents were or moved somewhere else. Highly recommend doing this and I really am proud of that, that I take the opportunities. It is often very difficult. You take yourself out of your comfort zone, but you also grow as a person a lot and you get to know what you like and you don't like. What is your plan for your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube years ago actually on a different channel. I've had like four or five different channels over the years. And my goal initially was just to have fun. It was my hobby. I enjoyed it a lot. As well, I used to travel a lot alone. So that was a way for my family and friends to see kind of what is going on. I'm not gonna lie though and say that I don't care about views or subscribers. I mean, I think we all do. And I would love if I can do this full time. And of course I have a long way to go. My goal is just to have fun and do my best with what I have. If it works out, I'm gonna be extremely grateful. And if it doesn't, I'm still gonna have a lot of nice videos to look back on. How do you manage all 100,500 activities? I don't know. I, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know how I manage this. I have a lot of things on my plate. I am working full time in the office. I am also studying full time. Then I am working a second job, like a mini job as a waitress. Yeah, now I'm doing vlogmas or YouTube in general. So it is definitely a lot of things on my plate. I guess the way I manage it is just really planning out my days. I literally plan out the times that I will study. I plan out my rest, my fun times, because otherwise it just wouldn't work. I do to-do lists uh, to see, you know, that I don't forget anything. But also to be honest, I'm not managing it that well because I really feel tired, exhausted. I'd really try to not show it to you on the videos, but in reality, I sometimes have like a mini breakdown. Working and money and everything is for sure very nice, but your health and your well being is a thousand times more important, so take care of that. That's also a little reminder for me because I've definitely been abusing myself a little bit over the last few weeks. Any New Year's resolutions? I haven't really thought about it too deeply yet, but definitely one of the resolutions, as I already said in the last question, is to rest a bit more, to spend more time with family and friends, to take care of myself more. My mom is very insistent. She wrote two questions. One question was singing, and the other is, when will your video about singing come out? I think I don't talk about it a lot, but I really love singing, actually. I have been singing since I'm a kid. I was in choir, I participated in our school like singing contests, and I was just very active. And if I may say so myself, I am a pretty good singer, but I never talk about it. If Do you think you would like to see me singing? I even have a cover of one song professionally recorded, so I can definitely release it. But yeah, mom. The video will come one day. Sooner or later I will do it if I want to have any kids. And the answer is yes, I would love to have a few kids, uh, but not right now. I don't feel like I'm mentally or financially ready to have kids. Ideally, I would like to have two kids, one boy and one girl. And I have a few friends that don't want kids and it's totally fine. And I think uh, to each their own, you know, we have so many 
people in the world that I don't think we should bring unwanted kids to this world, but uh, I would love to have some kids. What is your music type? It's complicated because um, my music taste is so different. It really depends on the day, on the mood and what I'm doing. When I'm in the gym, I like to listen to more like old school rap. In general, overall, I like like 2000 to 2015 songs probably because I grew up with them. I love rock, I love Red Hot Chili Peppers and I like like peaceful vibes as well for the evening, like piano, uh, more classical music. So I'm pretty much for everything. And I didn't mention I love Latino. I mean, I lived in Spain for a few years and the Latino songs, especially for going out, in my opinion, are the best. Do you like more the winter or the summer? 1000% the summer. I grew up in really rough winter conditions. We had, you know, minus 20 winters every year, meters and meters of snow. Back home it was okay, I didn't know any other way, but now that I've traveled the world and I've seen a lot of different things, I definitely prefer summer. If I could live in a place where there's only summer and like early autumn, early spring and that's it, that would be the best. That's my like life goal and that I don't have to own any more winter clothes and I can just wear summer dresses all year long. And the last question is, where is the nicest Christmas market in Munich? I've been living in Munich for two and a half years and unfortunately I haven't had the opportunity to visit really any because the last two years have been closed and there were no winter markets happening. And this year I haven't really had the time to go. Tonight we are going to Tollwood uh, and you will see it in tomorrow's vlog. Tollwood is kind of like, a, not just a Christmas market, but it's kind of like winter wonderland festival where you have street food, you can buy different gifts and stuff. I mean, I haven't been there yet, but that's what I've heard. I think that is one of the nicest experience, but of course also on Munich on Marienplatz, like the most typical one. It's so famous for a reason, but uh, I would like to go to some more Christmas market and I would love to take you to some of them with. So I hope that will happen in the next few weeks before Vlogmas ends. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. It was a bit more chill. Hope you enjoyed that too, because I sure enjoyed a little bit of a calmer at home vibe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.